In the 1950s and 60s, the federal government responded to the deterioration of American cities by supporting urban renewal programs. These programs labeled many older neighborhoods as slums, tore them down, dislocated the residents, and replaced the old buildings with large-scale housing and commercial projects. Instead of saving neighborhoods, urban renewal often destroyed them. Today, urban strategies emphasize neighborhood conservation, revitalizing existing houses, and solving local problems at the local level. This approach respects the community's social fabric and makes more efficient use of resources. Although cities differ, they have common concerns, and so the experience of one may be useful to many others. This film takes place in Boston's South End, an area of one square mile with a population of 23,000 people, bordered by predominantly black Roxbury and by white working class South Boston, and within easy walking distance of the city's downtown. Like many other central city neighborhoods that have lived through urban renewal, Boston's South End is now committed to conservation. Lately, it has become a more desirable place to live and has attracted large numbers of middle and upper income families. But long-term residents, faced with higher housing costs, rising land values and tax increases, are finding it hard to remain in the South End. By examining the concerns of 12 South End neighbors, this film explores an important question. Can a neighborhood accommodate newcomers and still maintain its identity? The film offers no answers, but presents diverse attitudes in the belief that urban policy to be effective must accommodate the divergent needs within our communities. We were thinking and had plans drawn up for a house on Beacon Hill that was $86,000 and we were going to live in a two-bedroom apartment among five. And then we thought that that was too much financial strain for a fledgling banker. So we contacted a real estate agent in the South End and almost by accident we found this house. We called her one afternoon and she said that she had a house on West Newton Street but we wouldn't be interested in it because West Newton Street wasn't a very nice street. So we said, oh no, come on, let's come down and look at it. So we came down and we brought a friend with us that owned a house next door to us on Beacon Hill. And we looked at this house, as many rooms as we could get into because it was a rooming house occupied by people. And uh, we bought it for $11,000, essentially made an offer for it that afternoon. This neighborhood apparently is picking up so much that uh, we had to pay 43,000 for what we have. Now, if you chase them out of here, it's something else. Why, to make it a better neighborhood, you mean? Yeah. To make it a better housing? To make it higher rents? No way. You can't move off these people that have been living here all their life. As long as you've got their Roman houses. I mean, they'll live here as long as they'll die. Because they have no place to go. This is their neighborhood, and this is where they're going to live.